Hi Scorpio, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. This is going to be what are their true intentions in love. And uh, we have two cards here already, Scorpio, and they talk about trusting your intuition, right? The Moonlight card invites you to trust your intuition. And the Mystic Woman sitting here, uh, she's probably already doing that. And this probably is you. Uh, it could be advising you, though, because Scorpio ordinarily trusts their intuition because you guys are so intuitive, right? Uh, ruled by the planet of Pluto, uh, Pluto not Pluto, uh, <clears throat> which is uh, death and transformation, right? We have uh, the rabbit is here. This talks about somebody waiting to take a leap, typically. And then we have uh, this card, Community. This talks about somebody exiling. It could be exiling like family or community uh, groups or anything that has to do with society, right? can talk about exiting a marriage, too. It could. I feel like you're dealing with somebody, Scorpio, that you're either walking away from them. <clears throat> like you could be telling yourself, this is the best thing for me. Because we have this true nourishment card. And that card can talk about somebody knowing what is good for them. Yeah, and what is like, what is truly good for them. The peacock is here. This typically talks about abundance. We're going to see all about that, but it does talk about, uh, can talk about financial abundance. Mm -hmm. And we also have uh, mechanical habits. Somebody's been like, kind of maybe on autopilot, or they are doing things to the, they're, they have these habits that are like harmful. Maybe somebody's smoking too much or drinking too much. Uh, but it talks about somebody who kind of goes round and round sometimes and commits the same errors, kind of, uh, based on their habits. Could be, uh, you know, could be somebody who's kind of creating habits uh, that are no good for them. But we have good luck here, Scorpio. You could be saying, gee, where is it here? We have the wagon wheel, right? And the wagon wheel talks about good luck. It does. Mm-hmm. And uh, this could be a person, too, this jack of uh, diamonds. It could be somebody here. Um, it does really kind of talk about manifesting things, though. We also have the nine, the eight of spades. It's reversed. This eight of spades talks about somebody who maybe kind of thought they had to kind of, like, deal with the situation. And now they're like, oh, no, I'm not going to have to really kind of deal with this. It could be because you are using your intuition. I feel like you're leaving something behind. I just feel like some fresh energy kind of, but you're really, you're challenged right here, mm -hmm. you might even be like, you could be thinking, I want to rescue myself, possibly here, <clears throat> let's see, we have, your person is burdened, the ten of wands, they have the three of wands, uh, I feel like they are thinking all about their future right here, this person, the challenge for them is the ten of cups, you could be married to them, you could, and, um, or you were, or, you know, something, it could be a marriage here, possibly, or at least a marriage type union. <clears throat> you're, you are challenged right here in your challenge, the seven of wands. Somebody could have played kind of games, like you could have felt like this person, whoever you're dealing with was maybe playing games with you. It's a possibility. Um, mm-hmm. We have the fool reversed here. You could be dealing with this situation, maybe uh, lacking courage, kind of. But I feel like everything is going to be like, okay, we have the king of cups. That is you, Scorpio. Uh, most likely, here you are. You could be in your, uh, it's possible here you are just in your power. We have, and this can just be about love. We have the six of Pentacles. You might be making a decision. The King of Cups, uh, you know, often makes decisions in love. <clears throat> Somebody's planning here, mm -hmm. focusing and planning on what they are doing. Could be this person here. We have. I feel like it is, and I feel like they are burdened by this plan or this vision that they have. Your challenge is the Seven of Wands and the Tower. So you could maybe you are resisting an ending with this person. It's a possibility here. There could be third-party energy here. The Six of Pentacles is here. And this looks like uh, kind of two people who are like... I don't know if you're if you're separated with this person or you're still with them. <clears throat> if you are with them, it is... Uh, you're going through something... Like you're going through a tower, it looks like, with them. Or you have recently, or you will recently. I mean, in, in the near future.
you could be possibly resisting here like a major like a, a transformation like you could be res re resisting like a powerful realization or a shocking realization it's possible here <clears throat> You have the moon here and the king of pentacles and the six of wands. I feel like here you are kind of in the dark about this about this earth sign possibly. Maybe they're a Capricorn. We have the devil here. But uh, this could be like the person you're dealing with, an earth sign. And I feel like you have doubts about this person or fears or like you know that, they're, that they, they might be hiding something. We have the moon twice here. It talks about things that can be hidden or in the dark. The Wheel of Fortune, there could be a Sagittarian here. I mean, it's possible you just feel like you are kind of at fate's destiny here or like, you know, like like dealing with the hands of fate and there's nothing you can do and this could be, and we have temperance here. I don't think so. There's probably a Sag here uh, with the Wheel of Fortune and temperance. You might, your person could be maybe Sagittarius or this Earth sign. There could be a, a third party with these same people your fear here is the devil and the page of wands, so you could be fearing your person has renewed interest in somebody. Definitely you feel like they're on some type of a new path. We have the ten of wands for your person, the seven of pentacles. Here they are wondering how burdening something is going to be. It could be their money, maybe lack of money. The knight of cups. This can be about a love offer. That could be you showing up in their energy. We have the Three of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, this person is uh, is looking forward to some type of uh, passionate opportunity with somebody they are. I feel like you know that up here. And you're like, you're doing your best to hold your ground. You could be trying to resist it. It could be majorly overwhelming for you. This person could have a love offer for somebody. And they are over like they are burdened by it because how how they will come out maybe financially or just how things may work out for them. They have the Ten of Cups and the Queen of Swords. They are questioning their happily ever after or their union or their marriage possibly. We have uh, the lovers reversed. <coughs> Your person here is, uh, what's on their mind here? They are discerning like an ending, a breakup, and they're happily ever after or their union with you. I, it's possible you were um, like married to this person. Yeah, because we have the exile card. This can talk about sometimes a marriage. It can like exiling anything that is kind of societal or like a community. A marriage is a small community. It is. We have the Two of Cups and the Six of Swords. This is what they want. So this person wants to get to a calmer place, whether or not that is physically or emotionally or both. Here they are in, the, in a little boat taking off for calmer shores. And they want this uh, two of, they're hoping they're going to have this two of cup, cups with somebody. Maybe it is this earth sign, maybe it is Sagittarius. It could be uh, an air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Another water sign, just about anybody, right? Uh, and we also have here, we have the Emperor and the Fool, could be Aries, and we have the Star card. Yeah, this person is hoping for, uh, hoping that somebody's going to be, like, waiting for them, possibly. And we have the Ace of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. This is their doubt or their fear. And the high priestess, that's probably you. They could be doubting, they could be fearing here, uh, Scorpio, that you know what they're up to. Because this is you, the high priestess, I, I think. I mean, you know, I feel it could also be uh, a secret here because the moon is here twice. This person has been kind of, they have either, either they, there could be somebody who's hidden here, but there could just be somebody who's kind of just, just kind of waiting, right? Uh, but this person is not sure that this other person is, like, they're hoping over here that their their journey is going to be smooth or somebody will take their cup 
or somebody might be waiting for them. Mm-hmm. But they're not sure. No, they're not. And we have the pea. Let's see what it says about this peacock here. Um, we have Splendor, the Divine, and Craving. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this person might be craving somebody here. And they have been waiting to take a leap with the rabbit. Yeah, this person has been waiting. We're going to end this reading, Scorpio. I feel like you're going to be fine. I feel like you are. I mean, I you probably, yeah, you're going through a tower right now. Uh, and this is, I feel like, really stressful to you. Yeah, it is. But I feel like you're going to be uh, okay in the end. Yeah, this is... Uh, for me, it looks like it needs to be over. Like, I can feel just the feeling. Like, let this go. Let this person go on their journey. I feel like they're just bringing you major problems here. Yeah, and like unnecessary. Let them go on their journey or whatever. They're, you know, let them like make their own bed. And we have this card. This card of the eight. This is the eight of spades. This is the bed. In the upright, it's like, you know what? They made their bed, now let them lay in it. It's in the reverse. You could have thought that in the past, and now you're just like, well, I'm just going to go now. I'm going to keep going here on my uh, down my own journey. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.